<laughs> You're safe now. Get inside and bar the doors quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Fought some demons, and the Archon's Palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! Well, we're not in Manrathas anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry. It was while I was unconscious. Solus appeared in my dream. Really? 
I'm glad you're all right. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic? Like any normal mage would to play with your mind? But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. We all know he's not a god, but it's faster than saying ancient elven mage every time we talk about him. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solus can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one... God running around, we had two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. Without Varric. And you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Harding, you okay to go? I'm not gonna sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that Alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlathan. <sighs> Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Down. I'm trying! 
Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus and stopped his ritual, but things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone else got out. Elganon and Gilanane, supposedly. Methalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy, like two of our old gods. Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Avenuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Bellara. Harding, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? What? No, I'm coming with you. You're a great shot, Harding. You can help the Veil vale Jumpers here. They need you. Uh, fine. Since they need me. We'll meet you back at the Veil vale Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Lara? Bellara Luter. Strife and Irulin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Nev Gallus. Wait! I know that name! But... Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me? I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elganarn and Gilanane. They've escaped from Fen Harel's prison, and by all accounts, they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait, I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. 
and dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife and Irulan said you're their best Veil Jumper. Look, that means you've got an idea. Maybe... a bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it, safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. Well then, let's get going. That's one of your fellow Veil Jumpers? Malara! Jahel! He's alive! Malara! We're, we're going to help you! We'll get you down, Jahel! No! Listen! The gods... the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Close. Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. Deep breaths. Tell me what happened. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gillanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. So 
So you brought the Veil Jumpers to the middle of town? For a blood sacrifice? Because the gods needed power. Did you know what the gods would do? The Veil Jumpers, they were just strangers. I thought if they were taken first, everyone else might be spared. So you did know? The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blight! Everywhere! What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook, you're a Grey Warden. You could pack him off to Weishaupt as punishment. We'll send him to the Wardens. No! I I'll never survive that! We take anyone. Even murderous traitors like you. It's more than you deserve. You don't understand. I felt their power. It's irresistible. You're going to spend the rest of your life fighting Darkspawn. That's not enough to redeem you, but it's a start. But be grateful I'm even giving you this chance. Do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. We shouldn't be at each other's throats. I'm not. Nev, I'm not. I don't blame you. Or Rook. Or anyone. So just yourself? How's that working out? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting. You push for answers and action. While I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elganon and Gilanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering. 
helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. So who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about uh, all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf. So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history, and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. Not if we stop it first. Ah, oh, the confidence of youth. You shall need a good deal more of it. I suppose you have some advice? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. Is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, uh, well, he calls it the lighthouse? Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithan. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. We shouldn't be at each other's throats. I'm not, Nev. I'm not. I don't blame you, or Rook, or anyone. So just yourself? How's that working out? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting. You push for answers and action while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Lyrium. 
Harding? I... I... Harding! This is the eternal hymn! The prayer and the proclamation! I can hear it. The song of the stone. What is happening to me? What the? You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. It's a wonderful gift. You must be proud. But I didn't do anything to earn this. How could I be proud? I don't even know how it happened. It's all a little strange, but not in a bad way. I feel... connected. To... To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, Lyrium veins and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But... But this is more than the stone sense I know. I hope you're right that this is a gift. <sighs> I'd be heartbroken if it caused problems. I trust you have all this handled. You always have things handled. I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I have faith. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And... I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You seem a little more comfortable with your new abilities. How are you feeling? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. You think they'll talk to us? After the first Warden and everything? It's worth a try. I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. Wardens Evka and Antoine answered our letter. They're willing to talk. In the middle of nowhere? Where the first Warden won't notice. 
But if they don't listen... <sighs> Your distraction worked. Could have said it when we were farther away. Dizuli, I didn't say it was a good plan. Ah, you made it! Antoine, Evka, it's been a while. Yes, and Harding, it's good to see you again. I hear you've been causing problems. So this elven god thinks we need a dragon hunter and a faith expert. He's right, about the dragon hunter at least. The shadow dragons did all they could. The dragon was just too much. The moment the dust settled, the Venatori rushed in. Guess they knew it was coming. Nev's staying for now. She said she'll be back soon. But... At least you took care of yours. We hurt it, but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. Treviso could have used a dragon hunter. That much is true. That's hindsight talking. We didn't know a blighted dragon was coming, or that we'd need someone who could take it down. We should not forget the second dragon in Minrathos. We ought to see what we can do to help. However, there is no telling how long Nev will be helping the Shadow Dragons with the aftermath. Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Hang on a minute. Not only have you retained the services of a demon assassin, you're also taking advice from the elven god who attempted to tear down the veil. Spite is my problem. That's what they always say. Rook, Lucanus is one thing, but do you really trust this Solus? He's been right about a lot of things. He knows how Elganon and Gilanane work. We need him. As long as you're sure. So a Fade expert and a dragon hunter. I'll ask around about dragon hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a fade expert immediately. <laughs> see, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. So I put the word out for dragon hunters, and I've heard back about someone who might work. It's a woman named Tosh from a group of Ravani treasure hunters called the Lords of Fortune. Sounds promising. An agent for the Lords said that Tosh is working on a mission for them along the Ravane coast. If we help her, she'll be free to join us and fight any blighted dragons the gods throw our way. What do you know about what's going on in Ravane right now? Not much more than you do. Varric and I never went there while hunting Solus. The Kunari were on pretty good terms with Ravane, but that was before the Antom military broke away from the rest of the Kuhn. I wouldn't be surprised if the Antom invaded Ravane like they did Treviso and Eastern Tevinter. All right. Guess we'll be ready. Thanks for finding a contact. There can't be that many professional dragon hunters around. Time to find out if the crossroads can get us to an alluvian in that area. We'll head out whenever you're ready. So... Wanna smell my neck again? Rook, Tosh, glad I caught you both. The Grey Wardens found a cave that one of the blighted dragons uses as its lair. Where? In the Hosberg wetlands. There's no sign of the dragon itself, though. I should check it out. We need to know how different the Blighted Dragons really are. They might turn into something like Gilanane's Archdemon did. If there's a clue... I have to be ready. Toldar, it's a tunnel. Vedun Gar Velos Atreidum. But Velos Atreidum is, is nothing like Isatunol. Isatunol. I remember. 
After you touch the dagger, the prayer, the proclamation, is a tunnel. What exactly are you proclaiming? They don't remember. No one remembers. We don't even know what we lost. You're not hearing a word I'm saying, are you? Uh-huh. You know you're adorable, right? Sure, whatever you think is best. <laughs> hmm? What? What's happened? I said you're adorable. You're poking fun at me. I would never poke fun. I respect you too much. Hmm. Is that so? A hundred percent. So, what's Isatunal? Isatunal is an affirmation, a statement of existence, of... of being. It means, I am here. But no, not... not I. I is singular, but it isn't. We either. Hmm. We is multiple, but also separate. What? <sighs> Is the tunnel is the eternal hymn that encompasses all time, all spaces. I am, we are, this and that, here, there, now, and forever. What's important is that you're happy. Happy? Happy's not it. Whole. Right, maybe. I'm certain Is the tunnel describes how we, the dwarves, once were. None of the books say anything about it. None of the histories are right. If we forgot something so important, what else did we forget? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I don't expect you to have an answer. D Thanks for letting me babble, by the way. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. I don't understand why you're bringing so many books. Well, I don't see what your objections are to my taking a canopy. We're only going for two days. You've hardly brought more than a flask and a bedroll. Sorry, how many books are you packing for whatever this is, Emmerich? Only a handful. Nothing irreplaceable, of course. Eight. When will you have time to read eight books? Emric wants to see more of Ferelden, so we're going camping. But he's treating it like we're going to an academic... thing. An expedition can have its earthly comforts. <laughs> you want to bring a shaving kit in the woods. My dear Harding, a gentleman is never without a brush and a razor. The whole point of going to the wilds is to get away from all that. So what if you get muddy and smell a little bad? One can enjoy the scenery while remembering to bathe. Okay, Emmerich, I'm not saying bring zero books. Well, certainly. But sketch a little. Birdwatch, ask Harding the names of plants. I suppose I did ask if she'd show me around Ferelden. Because Ferelden has the best woods. I really have looked forward to you showing me more of your home, Harding. <laughs> me too. Oh, and I'll make us sandwiches. Ah, your famous ham and jam slam? Well, yam and jam slam because you don't eat meat, so I'll use yams. How thoughtful. Thank you, Harding. <sighs> I don't understand why you're bringing so many books. Well, I don't see what your objections are to my taking a canopy. We're only going for two days. You've hardly brought more than a flask and a bedroll. Sorry, how many books are you packing for whatever this is, Emmerich? Only a handful. Nothing irreplaceable, of course. Eight. When will you have time to read eight books? Emric wants to see more of Ferelden, so we're going camping. But he's treating it like we're going to an academic... thing. 
An expedition can have its earthly comforts. <laughs> you want to bring a shaving kit in the woods. My dear Harding, a gentleman is never without a brush and a razor. The whole point of going to the wilds is to get away from all that. So what if you get muddy and smell a little bad? One can enjoy the scenery while remembering to bathe. Okay, Emmerich, I'm not saying bring zero books. Well, certainly. But sketch a little. Birdwatch, ask Harding the names of plants. I suppose I did ask if she'd show me around Ferelden. Because Ferelden has the best woods. I really have looked forward to you showing me more of your home, Harding. <laughs> me too. Oh, and I'll make us sandwiches. Ah, your famous ham and jam slam? Well, yam and jam slam because you don't eat meat, so I'll use yams. How thoughtful. Thank you, Harding. All right. See this rock? I'm going to move it. Oh, awkward. Maybe if you used words? What? Tell the rock what to do? Sort of. <laughs> it's not a dog. Yeah, but just try it. Fly! <laughs> oh, you are the worst. The worst! So, a mental cue. Some kind of emotional trigger. You're thinking too hard about it. Maybe think less and feel more. Have fun. Go with what feels good. Feels good. Right. Connection. Joy. Fun. You know, we would sometimes go to the shore of Lake Callanhad in summer. And my friends and I would collect stones and see who could build the best rock fort. I bet my fort would be the best now. Oh. <laughs> it worked! It worked! That was a great idea, Rook! I haven't seen you look this happy in a while, Harding. <laughs> I know. Life, right? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. I just want to enjoy the moment. Being around you makes me feel lighter somehow. Should do this more often. <laughs> just you and me. People might talk. About what? That we like doing stuff together? <laughs> Scandalous. Right. Right. Of course. Why would they talk? Did you mean something else? No. No. Of course not. I mean... Are you blushing? No. I mean... Yeah. You try moving rocks with your mind. I... I mean... I should go practice more. Shouldn't I? I should. Uh, uh. Easy. Maker, I thought I was dead for sure. How are you feeling? How's the leg? Broken, I think. But I'm alive. And I'm grateful for that. Oh, the rocks. How did you do that? I... Harding? Do you hear that? Hear what? Sister, I feel you. 
touched by the ancients as I was. Find me. Look to those closest to the stone and find me. Buddy, what's wrong? What are you hearing? I'm... I'm sorry. Let's just get our friend to safety. And then we'll talk. been quiet? I know. Just thinking. But I said we'd talk, didn't I? I... I heard a voice. After we saved that man. It told me I was touched by the ancients and that I should seek it out. Seek her out. Do you think this voice has answers about your magic? She must! What if she's like me? Maybe that's why only I heard her. She said to look to those closest to the stone to locate her. Meaning? The children of the stone. Dwarves. Not surfacers like me, but the ones from the deep roads. Almost ten years ago, a shaper from Orzammar bonded with a titan. Titans. Ancients. You think it's related? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Volta. That was the shaper's name. Maybe there are more like her down there. I'd like for you to get the answers you're looking for. Me too. I know some people in Orzammar. I'll reach out. If I hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Any luck tracking down your mystery friend? The Shaper it didn't like me asking about Shaper Valta. Or harassing people with talk of Dwarven magic. Damn. That's a disappointment. Well, I'm not gonna find my answers in Orzammar. My contacts had no idea what I was talking about. So, what now? I was thinking. The voice said, look to those closest to the stone. What if she never meant Orzammar? Huh? There is another great tide, the original capital of the dwarves, Cal Chirac. It was lost during the first blight, and its people survived in isolation for hundreds of years. They re-emerged, oh, some 20 years ago? And you think they're closer to the stone? Marzimar can't help. What have I got to lose? Are you sure Orzammar isn't hiding something? Pressing them for information would be tricky. I could anger someone important. If Cal Chirac doesn't turn out, I can go back to poking at Orzammar. But not before then. I'm curious about Cal Shirok's isolation. The dwarves took heavy losses during the first blight. To stop the Darkspawn from overrunning them, they closed off passages in the deep roads. Those that could retreated to Orzammar. Cal Shirok was lost. They abandoned the city and its people, sealed them away with the Darkspawn. They had to. Lose a tiger or lose everyone. Children, families, it's unforgivable. Sometimes people have to do unforgivable things. You've heard, haven't you? That the Cal Chirac dwarves were forced to change in order to survive. No one's really sure what that means exactly. When we find them, you can ask. How do we get in touch with these Cal Chirac dwarves? Already working on it. You don't spend ten years in the Inquisition without making contacts. I should have a meeting set up by the time we're ready to leave. Stallguard? Yes. I... Lace Harding, of the Inquisition. Wait. How do you know about- And this is the one they call Rook? A Dalish elf? Ballara, nice to meet you. So you've heard of us. You have brought a strange assortment to our gates, Lace Harding. Thanks for meeting with us. I really hope you can help Harding. You are gracious in your address. It is not necessary. Tell me what you wish. I... I'm looking for someone touched by the Ancients. 
Does that mean anything to you? Yes. She has been waiting for you. Follow, and keep your weapons ready. The roads are dark. The creatures there even more so. Thank you for leading her here, Stalgard. They call me the Oracle. That's... incredible. Yes, she is. I... I know you. Don't I? Once I was Volta, as you were Lace, then Scout, and now, something else. All this... Is this what I am? Am I like you? I cannot tell you what you are. Look within, and remember. Remember when the Earth was alive, and the Titans walked the land. In one voice they sang, a chorus of creation, and of connection. Isatuno. The song. When the Titans fell, we awoke, but the melody was already lost. The dwarves. We were always just shattered fragments of a greater whole. The stone sense. My magic. It's Titan magic. But why? Why did this happen? Why do I remember Isatuno? What happened to the Titans? There is something else here. It's found you. Alive? Did you feel it? Fury. Such fury. And with you as its mark. M me But why? Hey, we can handle anything that comes our way. There are horrors in the depths. They have awakened to you now. Look within for your answers. And beware. No, wait! I have more questions! Huh. She does that. Riddles, riddles, riddles. Oh, I am a rock. But those weren't answers. She gave me nothing. Come back. Make her come back. Odding. Ugh. It's all right. I'm all right. Sorry. <sighs> We're done. Let's just get out of here. Oh, hey. You look like you could use someone to talk to. I'm that obvious? You're being uncharacteristically quiet. <sighs> I try to be cheerful. It helps me, and I think it makes other people feel better. But since we saw the Oracle... I don't know. You're allowed to feel off-balance. That experience with the Oracle was intense. But I got nothing out of her except vague hints and even more vague warnings. This was supposed to be a good thing. One small hurdle doesn't erase what's good about this. I just wish I knew what to do. No matter what, we'll make sure you're safe. How? We watch out for you. And prepare for a fight. You think it'll be a fight? When is it not? Maybe there's nothing to do now, but wait and see. I'm grateful for all your encouragement. This would be so much harder without your support. Anytime, Harding. Anytime. Harding left the Oracle Sanctum disappointed. Maybe she'd expected too much. Maybe there were no answers to be had. 
seething with questions. She forgot the Oracle's dire warning. But far below the surface, something was moving, determined to be seen, and fighting to be remembered. You're still working. Just finishing some things up. You're always up. It's a bit worrying. Aw, oh, you don't have to worry about me. I know I don't have to, but you're not sleeping. Oh, right. I have dreams now. When I go to sleep, I mean. I thought dwarves didn't dream. We're not supposed to. I didn't before. It, uh... It's... Unnerving. It's like my mind's telling a story to itself and is really bad at it. I know exactly what you mean. That's typical of dreams. What about being scared? Is that typical, too? That's a nightmare. Usually, I'm being chased. Or hunted. There's something that glows red, just out of my sight. And I, I know it's gonna get me, but I don't know how I know. And so you're here, thumbing through ledgers and unsure if you want to go to bed. Yeah, pretty much. But I already feel better having talked about it. And now, <sighs> I'm gonna get some sleep and hope the dreams are safe. Good luck. Meet me in Ravane? I've got sparring practice with the Lords and I could use the sea air. So could you. You know, that sounds quite nice. All right then. I'll see you soon. They said I could find you here. Good timing. I think I'm done for the day. The Lords of Fortune don't mess around, do they? Hey, thanks for the lessons. I'll be back. Oof. I'm beat. I just gotta... You just gotta... Do you feel that? It's dark, and they're so afraid, so alone. Harding, what's happening? There's so many of them, all in my head. So much. Listen to me. I'm here, and you're safe. Take all the time you need. I'm safe. Yes, I could feel it. Rippling through the stone. Confusion. Isolation. Fear. Whose fear? Whatever was after me has turned on the dwarves. It's drawing me out. Drawing me down. And if I know you, you're gonna go because people are in danger. Absolutely. Then so will I. Good. That means whatever's out there, better run. I heard from Cal Shirak about the missing dwarves. Stallguard's one of them. I have to go help. 
They sent me maps of the area where the missing were last seen. It's a start. You're coming to help, right? I promised I would. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Let's not wait too long. We've got you. You. It's you. Yes, it's me, Harding. But you were... Uh, no, it couldn't have been. Oh, my head. Can you tell us what happened? We were on patrol. Stolgol thought he heard something. Someone weeping, he said. He left to investigate. Never returned. Soon we all started to hear it. The weeping, the whispers. Something took me as I rested. A shadow tinged with red. The last thing I saw before suffocating darkness. How did you survive in a rock? That's your question? Right now? That is a dwarven thing. Children of the stone? Our philosophers may have an answer, but I do not. Just rest. You're no longer in danger. Something's still out there. But it's not after you anymore. I understand. May the ancestors be with you. We should keep going. I sense someone else close by. Be careful. Trust nothing you hear. Trust nothing you see. And thank you, Harding. Lace Harding, you should not have come. You needed help. We had to do something once we knew you were in danger. You are both fools. And I am forever grateful for it. What happened? The memory is clouded. I recall a cry in the shadows and then nothing. I awoke in darkness, pressed against the stone. No room to even breathe. Time lost meaning. There was a voice in my ears murmuring in despair. Did you recognize the voice? Who was it? A shade. A rot within the stone. And it's after me. The only way to stop it is to face it. Don't. It will consume you. You, mister, need to rest. I'll handle it. Farther in. That's where the Titan's heart is. That's where I have to go. That's where it ends. The Titan's heart? Are we... in an actual Titan? How do you... I just know. Whatever happens, we'll be right here with you. Thanks. All of you. I'm ready. I remember. 
over all of it. Everything the Avenuras did to the Titans. And now the world will remember! They silenced the Titans! They ripped out their souls! Your pain and your anger are justified! But don't let it control you! Make it yours! Ah, you took everything from us. And you thought you won. But we're still here. We're different. But we're not gone. We will thrive in spite of you. That was intense. My mind's still clearing. Anyway, you ready to go? Let's get you home. Stalgard and the others are returning to Kal Shirak to spread word of what happened. They'll need to be strong in the coming days. We all will. And I think you've proven your strength. Me? <laughs> oh, I couldn't have done it without you. You can ask me how I'm feeling, you know? How are you? I was always afraid of my anger. I told myself it was better to be nice. And I pushed it aside. I pushed away the Titan's anger, too. It festered and became destructive. But now? It's part of me. Like everything else I inherited from the Titans. I don't think I'll ever stop being angry. But... I'm no longer afraid of it. So... What's next for you? First, we stop the Elven Gods. And after that, well... <laughs> one step at a time? See where it takes me. <laughs> Trust yourself. I do. You're just a bottomless well of support, aren't ya? I try. Oh. And I don't know if I said thank you, so... Thank you, Rook. I wouldn't be here without you. Hey, what's shaping? <laughs> <laughs> no one says, what's shapin' anymore? I thought it was a dwarf thing. Yeah, if you lived in Orzammar 20 years ago. Wow, just trying to be nice, and what do I get? Sass. Aw, well, I appreciate it. And I'm... I'm doing okay. I think I just need some time to think and sort things out. You can talk to your friends about it. I hear that helps. It's already helping. You checking on me, I mean. I still remember every moment of it. Suffocating under the weight of the Titan's pain. I couldn't... I couldn't see a way past it. And all I wanted was for the rest of the world to suffer too. And then... Everyone was there and that's when i knew we'd be okay that i'd that i'd be okay i know you would have done the same for me you showed me that my anger doesn't have to destroy me that it could be a gift in my fight and yes if you ever need me like i needed you i will be there that is my promise to you. 
You know, I think about Solus sometimes. He's been trapped by his mistakes for eons. When you're blinded by sorrow and pain, you need someone to help you past it. But he's too proud for that. He believes he's alone, even when he doesn't have to be. He'll never ask for help, but that doesn't mean we can't offer it anyway. Do you think he can be helped? Solus took this path because he thinks he has no choice. But the Inquisitor believes there is another way for him. For them. She could save him, if he would just let her. No one's beyond help, Rook. No one. I have to believe it. Or none of this matters. Hey, what's shaping? <laughs> no one says, what's shaping anymore? I thought it was a dwarf thing. Yeah, if you lived in Orzammar 20 years ago. Wow, just trying to be nice, and what do I get? Sass. Aw, well, I appreciate it. And I'm... I'm doing okay. I think I just need some time to think and sort things out. You can talk to your friends about it. I hear that helps. It's already helping. You checking on me, I mean. I still remember every moment of it. Suffocating under the weight of the Titan's pain. I couldn't... I couldn't see a way past it. And all I wanted was for the rest of the world to suffer too. <sighs> And then, everyone was there. And that's when I knew we'd be okay. That I'd... That I'd be okay. I know you would have done the same for me. You showed me that my anger doesn't have to destroy me. That it could be a gift in my fight. And yes, if you ever need me like I needed you, I will be there. That is my promise to you. You know, I think about Solus sometimes. He's been trapped by his mistakes for eons. When you're blinded by sorrow and pain, you need someone to help you past it. But he's too proud for that. He believes he's alone, even when he doesn't have to be. He'll never ask for help, but that doesn't mean we can't offer it anyway. Do you think he can be helped? Solus took this path because he thinks he has no choice. But the Inquisitor believes there is another way for him. For them. She could save him, if he would just let her. No one's beyond help, Rook. No one. I have to believe it. Or none of this matters. Here we are. What are you looking for? I don't know. I just felt like I needed to come back. I'll take your time. You've been through a lot. I need to find the Oracle again. I need to know more about the Titans. I need to... Ugh. I have this power, and it just feels like it came to me for a reason. Harding, you're still at the beginning of your journey. But where does it take me, Rook? The Titans walked the earth and shaped the stone. They sang to each other. And now, nothing. We are children of the stone, born from the stone's destruction. I want to make it right, but I don't know how.
It wasn't your choices that led to the Titan's ruin. You don't have to take on the burden of fixing it. I owe it to them. Don't I? How can I feel everything that I do and just accept it? I see you and I feel your pain. What now? Where do we go from here? Once there were titans. After them came dwarves. Then me. And now you. Destruction is changed, sister. And we are still changing. Harding. Harding. <laughs> you were far away for a minute. Sorry. Just... thinking. I'm ready to go. I have everything I need. This is the eternal hymn. The prayer and the proclamation. Isa Tunal. After Varric died, I promised myself I wouldn't let anyone else fall on my watch. Then Davrin was lost, and now it just feels like I'm failing over and over. How many more friends do I have to say goodbye to? How do you cling to hope? I wish I had something to say, but nothing's good enough. I'm just... sorry. Me too. Before this ends, in case things don't work out, I want you to know that I'm grateful for you. You help me see that I don't have to run from my anger, that I can use it to fight for what's good. We just have to get up to the palace before Elgernon hurts anyone else. Those of us left, we have to win for the people who got us here. For Varric. For all that he meant to us. I'm ready. Let's finish this. On the move. Spike can feel her hunting for us. We didn't come this far for nothing. Everything the gods have thrown at us, it's all because they know we can win. We'll kill Gilanane, we'll get our friend back, and then... And then Elgernon. We'll hold Gilanane's attention until Lucanus has a clear shot. Good luck, Harding. Like we said, whatever it takes. It's all yours. As is Gilanane. Lucanis, I've got you. Behold your current age! Fragile, aimless, lost! We are the only beings in this world who can cleanse and tame the blight. Use it to rebuild the old glories. You've done naught but 
but destroy them! You and Elkanan are trapped by the past, just like Solus. You had your chance, each one of you. And we don't owe you a thing. Everyone's a pawn. Allies, even friends. He'll sacrifice them without a thought. Isn't that what pawns are for? Are they? Whatever it takes. Your words, weren't they? And you were right. You gave so much to all of us. We started this fight together, Rook. You, me, Nev, Varric. And every day you've kept that fight going, even when the rest of us couldn't. Everything for the team brought us together, held us together when no one else could. And you never wavered, not once. So, how could I? Take care of the team for me. That's what Varric told me. And we were more than just a team. We were friends. But now you're gone. And the fight's not over. So I promise you this. I'm going to get out of here. Stop Elganon. Stop Solus. And save the world. I'll make sure your sacrifice was worth it. <laughs> 